Hello and welcome to another Free Code session. My name is Jason Bach and as you can see behind me, I'm back home and I should actually put that down because we don't need to see OBS. So I got back last night? Yeah, last night. And um, I have to fly out to Chicago on Saturday, but uh, at least it's a couple days home. So I uh, wanted to get an episode in. I don't plan on doing any recording when I'm in Chicago. And I also, well, maybe I'll do one. I don't know. Well, maybe I'll just bring the mic along. I won't bring my whole setup, um, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see what, what I feel like. But because it'd be nice to just do one in, in Chicago. Um, we'll see what the view is from the hotel. But I definitely have enough time, or I, or I should say enough stuff recorded now that I don't really need to get more done. Um, I keep mentioning this thing I have to do for VS Live Orlando, and I have to. I mean, I keep saying I have to. I have to get it done. And pretty much once Chicago is done, all my free time is going to be putting that material together. And I, I do not want to be sweating at the last minute trying to figure out, you know, things to put in, ideas to discuss, and so on. I want that to be rock solid. So, um, you know, I, I may get the temptation to record an episode here and there, but um, that's only if I'm going to feel comfortable with it. I, I don't have time to sit around anymore. I've got to get this done. So that will be my focus. And I have more than enough episodes now, um, I think, stored up so that I can just post them out there and not have to worry about missing a, a week or something like that. So... In any event, um, <clears throat> I felt up to doing some stuff in Iron Buffunge, which I don't know if I've ever explained it. It's this kind of weird language that um, works in like two-dimensional space and moves up and down. It, it's, a, it's a fun language. And there are some things that I don't have in it that I should. So... Um, a couple of them are some inst instructions that I don't actually have implemented. Um, so we're going to actually work on a couple of these, and we'll see if we can get them done. Um, this is turn right and turn left. And um, so I believe what this is saying is if you're like you're – and I'll do this like if you're from your perspective from the camera, not mine. So if you're going like this and you hit a turn right instruction, then – actually, you – so. <laughs> I don't know if that was probably the right thing to do. Basically, if you're going like to the right in the in the code, then you go down. If you're going down, you go to the left. You go left, you're right. So you're whatever direction. If you think of the Tron light cycles and you're following them, you turn you know that way to the right, or you turn to the left. So it's just simply a an instruction that does a turn right or turn left. So this one should be pretty straightforward to do. So this is 14. So we're going to do a um, 14 turn left and right in instructions. New branch. There we go. Okay, so these are... Okay, do I have a way to qualify these? Do I have turn instructions? I do have turn instructions. Okay, it'd be funny if I already had them implemented. No, I don't. So I have... Um, internal const char turn left instruction which is what again turn left is the this one and then turn right is the other one okay <clears throat> get instructions left instruction doesn't really matter um though you know me. The anal retentiveness is already kicking in. <laughs> Turn right instruction. There we go. All right. So now we're going to do two more cases with a turn left instruction and a turn right instruction. Okay. Now, what the heck am I doing here? The current value... Context direction equals 
Um, hmm. I, I'm trying to remember what I do here. Do I actually... Oh, that's right. The left-right instruction, the up-down instructions, I think you have to pop a value off the stack and take a look at this. This, you don't need to do that. Um, so this is basically just saying if your direction is going to the right, then your direction is now going down. Okay. Else, if your direction was going down, your direction is now going to the left. Else, if your direction was going to the left, um, Hold on. Oh, if your direction was going to the left, you're going to go a direction up, else down left up. If you're going to go up, it's going to be direction right. Okay. So now what's the problem with this? That's a direction. Oh. Um... So I guess, okay, that was being a little stupid. It's going to equal, if that's equal to that, yeah, that's what I meant to do. That's what I meant. That's what I meant the first time. Okay, there we go. There we go. So this is saying if your context direction is equal to, um, if you're going to the right, now you're going to go up. Else, if your direction is equal to going up, you're going to go to the left. Else, oops, if your direction is left, you're going to go down. So up, left, down, right. Yeah, because you, you end up back where you started from. Okay. It may not be the most clearest code in the world, but that should be correct. Okay, let's get some tests around this. Turn instruction handler. Let's make sure that we're putting in all the things. Okay. Handle going down. Handle going down or up with an empty stack. Yeah. And down, left. Okay, so we're going to do handle turn right. See if I can figure out how to do this. Handle turn right when going right. Solves context. Assert that context values count is equal to because one should have been popped off, and our direction is down. Yes. Let's see if that one actually worked. Before I go off writing all these. And actually, this is where... Um, did it work? No, it did not. It did not. Oh, um, hmm. I thought you didn't have to pop the stack if you were, um, 
Hold on. I don't remember what I did. Oh, is it because... Oh. Um, sorry. I think I... Yeah, this is months. Let's see if this actually works. Still didn't work. Expected down, but was up. Oh, did I do this? <laughs> I did it backwards. <laughs> I am an idiot. Because if you turn left, you go, yeah, that's right. And and just to be clear, um, stack instruction handle, I think if I do a um, duplicate, pop, swap. Yeah, the stack count stays the same with the, yeah, that, okay, so I did that right. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. I wonder if I should do these as a... Um... Data-driven tests. It would make more sense. Test case. Let's say... char instruction. Okay. And what I want to assert, well, the stack count's always going to be the same. What I want to assert then is the direction. Expected, no, expected direction. Like that. I wonder if they have a analyzer to go, hey, wait a minute. That ain't right, because <laughs> you should only, you're passing in three values, but all it can take is two. Um, all right, so this needs to be um, instruction, and let's move that up there. And this needs to be expected direction. Let's run that, and that works. So now we're going to say... Handle turn right and left. Because it's going to be the same thing. Except... Hmm. I didn't think about that. My tests cannot handle... Um, there's, there's no reason to push... A value context, and I can't. I could set it. I think what I need to say is correction current direction because I want to say is I want to be going in the direction of right. Whoops, no, <laughs> current direction. Let's see what that does. It failed. It failed. Why did it fail? Count expected zero, but was one. So we get the stack count set here, right? That's so just count, yeah. It's expected, what again? Zero, which you got one. No, 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 I'm reading this wrong. I expected zero, but I got one. Why? Okay, I don't remember how I wrote my tests. <laughs> Hold on a second. Um, kind of build am I under here? Go ahead and debug. So I currently have zero values. And then I put a value. Because the current is. Why would I ensure a stack of. One? Oh. 
you know what? Actually, this is wrong. Um, well, a couple things. It's okay. Um, I think for these cases, I actually. But I think what I need to say is um, move this into here, into these, because you need to ensure that the stack is one in these. These you don't. Okay. So let's try this one now. Still wrong. Expected minus one, but was zero. You're just throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what happens. Um, okay, let's let's run them all now, and let's see if we broke anything badly, which we didn't, which is good. Okay, so now I think we're on the right path, and this was actually correct because you can't these you don't have to care about that anything's on the stack or not. This one to do because you're popping them. Okay, that makes sense. That was a good catch. Um, okay, yeah, good me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's do a turn right instruction where we're going down and now we need to turn left. We need another one where we're going left and now we need to go up and then we need another one where we're going up and we need to go right and then we need when we're going turn left so in the case of us going right, we need to go up. And in this case, when we're going up, we need to go left. In the case of going left, we need to go down. And the last one is if we go down, we're going to go right. Well, well, well. Okay, so which one is this? <laughs> oh, this is the turn left ones, which is fine because that makes sense. Um, okay, so this is the turn left one. And down and right. So if I'm going down, yeah. Turn left instruction. If I'm going down, I want to go right. So what, what are the two that are failing? If I'm going to go up, you want to go left. Oh, wait a minute. I Okay, if you're going right, you want to go up. Then if you're going up, you want to go left. If you're going left, you want to go down. Otherwise, you're going right. One more time with feeling. Okay, so let's do this. Let's run. There. Okay. Yeah, that was just, just that one little mistake there. Cool. So that is done. So now we have two more instructions that we can support. Very good. Let's just put it in release and say that. He's running water. <laughs> it's a little loud. Um, okay, so that does that. We got 21 minutes. Can we possibly do another one? Um, let's see. This is turn. What does reverse do? 
This is reflecting the delta about the z-axis. I think we can do the reverse one as well. Okay, so let's do this right. Let's come in here. Um, right, come in here. Come back up here. Let's make the package, because we're going to be updating this to 2.1 for this. Okay. And then I don't think the host I do any, like, updates so that. No, I don't. Okay, good. Okay. Um, why... Oh, the dragon fruit thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was like, why do I... Okay. So we're good with this. And so we're going to come over here. And we're going to say added, turn left and right. Publish. And... Cool. So we're going to go back to master. We're going to merge in that one. Merge. Okay, come to here, delete it, and yes. And then we can come over here once it's done. And go back to 14. Turn right and turn left. And we can close this because of... Oh, God! I keep forgetting to put the pound thing in there. I keep doing that. Ugh. All right, reverse. 15. Reverse instruction. 15. Reverse instruction. No, what am I... What did I just do? Oh, new branch. Wow, that's not... <laughs> reverse instruction two ways to do it. That seems weird. Okay, so let's build the 15. Um, this is going to be a turn instruction because we're reversing. So internal const char reverse instruction instruction, which is equal to, I thought it was a, I don't remember, r. All right. Uh, okay. I don't know what I just did there. Um, a reverse is the same thing in that it doesn't need to ensure the stack. Um, we're going to come here and say reverse. So if your current direction is going right, you're going to go left. Okay. If you are going... Um, so right, if you're going down, you're going to be going up. Like I said, left. If you're going left, you're going to be going right. Otherwise, the only other choice is you're going up, so you're going to go down. There. Pretty simple. Just make sure I read this. Yeah, okay. So let's add a test for this. And I think we're going to do the same thing here. Um, so we're going to say handle reverse. And we're going to do a test case where we're going to be passing in reverse. Um, yeah, I could do this if I, if I, I like it separated though. I could push this all into one, um, parameterized test, but I don't think that's right. So if I say right, I want to go left. If I say I'm going down, I'm going up. If I say I'm going left, I'm going right. And this is just the flip. Up, down. And we got one wrong. We got one wrong. All right, what did I do wrong? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I...
once again, this is why you write tests. <sighs> 15. Added reverse instruction. Push. Uh, master branch merge into current branch that that okay and then we come to this one we do branch and we say delete yes cool all right so now if we do this and that look at that we actually captured that all right so now we're down to 22 and I'm at 27 minutes um a is called A because it was the first of two values we pushed onto the stack. If the A is smaller, da, 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 yeah. oh, all right, we're gonna do this, um, and it's gonna be a turn instruction because it's gonna act like a turn left or turn right depending upon what you pop on the stack or what you get on the stack. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Um, this is the compare instruction. Okay, so return instructions. We need a code thingy. Um, internal const char compare instruction. What was this, a W? I think it was a W. Yeah, W. All right, put that there. T I H. Get my anal retentive coding style in place. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to say case um, compare. We need to ensure that you have two on the stack. Um, var A is equal to context values pop and that's an int and we give our b pop okay oh no it's the other way around not well no it does matter okay so we, we pop b off the stack and we pop a if the a is smaller okay so if A is smaller than B, actually, wait a minute. Compare to B. Couldn't I do a... Oh. Oh. It's in the computer. It's so simple. Um, <laughs> I'm totally blanking on C Sharp State new uh, pattern matching thing. Um, A, A compared to B switch. Right? Yeah, I know. Um, so if it's minus one, then we act like a turn left. <sighs> oh, 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 <laughs> a turn left. Guess what we're gonna do, boys and girls? We're gonna have a static direction turn left based on your current direction. Current direction, which is that. Okay. So that's current direction. Sorry.
Oh, no, wait a minute. I, I, yeah, so what's the problem here? Oh, okay, fine. So this is turn left. Did I actually copy turn left or turn right? Right, up, up. Yeah, I did. Okay, so this is turn left based on your context direction. Okay, now I need to do the same thing with turn right. Static direction, turn right direction, current direction. So do that, Let's pull that over, that, and we do that, and then that. And then we have to do that and that. And then turn right becomes turn right. Close that all off. And now the reason we did all this is because if it's one, then it is turn. So wait a minute. If A is smaller, it turns left based on your context direction. Okay. If it's greater, um, oh, this is going to be interesting because I don't know if this is going to, this is, okay, I, I'm like, my brain just went in five directions at once. Um, zero. If it's equal, it's still your context direction. It doesn't matter. Okay, but it's, see, here's the problem is that compare to um, gives you an int. And so this is going to say it's not exhaustive because what I really like to say is less than or equal to one. <laughs> Greater than or equal to one. That's what I really want to do, but it's not, it, it doesn't know that. Um, What I could do is say this. I wonder if I could var compare is equal to that. And then could you compare switch on it where compare is less than that. No, it's not going to like that. Local variable compare. Can we not implicitly convert type bool to int? Compare is an int. Compare. Why won't you do that? I don't get this. Stupid. That was going to be clever, but not clever enough. Not clever enough, girl. Less than zero, this instance is less than the value. Zero, this is equal. Great. Okay, so actually I, I did that wrong. Um, well, no, I didn't, but... Um, oh, um, sugar. Yeah, okay. Because that comes out as a Boolean, but it wants an int, because it's saying, well, your compare is an int sense make. Okay, I just said it took me a second to realize what it was doing. Um, I got the feeling I'm forcing square peg in the round hole here and it's not gonna, it's just not gonna work. Um, so let's do this. Let's just say if compare is less than zero, then we turn left, else if compare is gr greater than zero, then we turn right. Otherwise, we keep our current context direction. And we get rid of that, and we do that, and everything just works. Okay. Um, all right. I could live with that. And then actually, so B is the first thing you pop, right? Yeah, it pops a value B off the stack, and then pop... 
Um, and I was going to say, hey, let's just pop them in here, but then that would get popped first, and that's not what you want. You want to do this. You have to explicitly pop this one first, then pop that one, and then do your compare. Okay. And you can't stick A compare B in here each spot because you'd be calculating it potentially twice. And yes, that's probably extremely fast, but whatever. Okay, I'm going way over in this one, but we're good. We're good. We're good, good, good. Okay, um, <laughs> holy crap. Oh, God. I, I do want to make this a... Um, a parameterized test, but this is going to take some some thought to do it. So let's just create one. Let's do handle reverse, except we're going to say, um, wait, what are we doing here? Compare, handle compare. Okay, we don't need the instruction because it's always the same instruction. We do need direction, but we need um, int A and int B, okay? Um, the instruction is going to be a TIH compare instruction, okay? So, so B's got to be at the top. So you want to push A first. Okay, so you want to push on the context values push. Context values push A first, and then you push B. Okay? Because then B's at the top of the stack, and B is the one that gets pushed off. Okay. Popped off, I'm sorry. The direction is going to be the current direction, and that is the expected direction. Okay, so now we should be stack minus two because we're going to pop two values off. Okay, and we need the three cases. Do I assume or not? Here's what I'm getting at. So I want a test case here. Okay, where A is smaller. I want a test case of 0, zero 1, and my direction is currently going to the right. So in the case it's smaller, it turns left, so I should be going direction up. Right? <laughs> Correct? It did work. Okay. Um, what I'm saying is, do not do I need this now for like if I'm going up I go that way like every direction I turn, um, I would say yes, I would say yes. I know that's like a little like that's kind of weird, Jason. Why would you do that? But it feels it feels like I'm not coding myself based on how I've actually implemented it, if that makes sense. So what I'm saying is, I know in my code here that what I've done is I'm actually just using a, a local function to handle it the same way. But what happens if I undo that at some point? And um, this is actually, I think, protecting me from that. Okay, so... That handles the turn left case. This is right up. Okay, so now let's do the turn right case. So we need to flip these. One, zero. Oops, one, zero. One, zero. And then in this case, if I'm going right, I go down. down, I go left, if I go left, I go up, and if I go up, I go right. Does it actually run it if you're just on the test case? I don't know. A total test, they all pass. What about the case 
where you're going a comparison like that. So if it's right, you go right. If it's down, you go down. If it's go left, you go left. If you go up, you go up. This is a longer episode. I realize I've kind of gone over, but um, I'm on a roll. Awesome. The one thing I wanted to see is I had it down here with an empty stack. Yeah, what does ensure instruction do? Ensure stack. If I ensure it. Um, oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. So, that's right. If you don't have enough on the stack, then it pushes zeros. Right? Yeah, it just keeps putting zeros until you have enough on the stack. So, in that case, um, what we're going to do is do a handle turn right and left. No, 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 not that. Come back up here. We're going to do a handle compare. And what did I say when? With empty stack, okay. with empty stack. So in this case, I don't care about those. Okay, and I'm not going to push. Um, the stack count should be the same because I didn't have anything there. We're going to magically add two. The thing, though, that I'm going to do is this, except I'm going to take the zeros out. So we have zero, zero, Make it that. Boom. Let's see if that works. Exactly, because if you, um, they, they would be the same, and so you act like nothing happened, and you keep going in the same direction, right? Um, does that feel? Yeah. Coolness. We are done with that. We got another instruction in. Um, what is this? 21. 21 added compare instruction. I feel good. I feel really good. This made me happy that I did this tonight. Okay, now we're going to do master. Master. Merge it. Push it. And 21 deleted. Come back over here. We should see it. And we do close. Nice. Nice. We're down to 21. Uh, I will not do any more. Um, the quit instruction, I think, would be easy to do, but I'm not going to. Um, I'm not going to do that, although I think that would be easy to do. Um, test for executor, I'm not sure that fix up would be cleaner. The dumper in these things, I think I could do. I think I've actually optimized the move. I think that's the one thing I need to look over quick, but I can do that in the, in the next episode. Maybe I'll do that when I'm in Chicago. I don't know. Maybe I'll click, hit some of these other ones out. The, the other implement ones, it gets really hairy. Um, some of these get quite advanced, um, so... I definitely have to spend some time on, especially when we start getting the stack stack and execution instructions and handprints. It's like, oh my God, so <laughs> it gets pretty, pretty hairy. But that's it. This is a long episode, but it's been fun. It, it's it's fun to, um, you know, experiment the language and experiment with like what things work and what don't work. And, and to me, this is just a nice little fun usage, but a good usage, I think, of static methods because... I'm using the same implementation in two spots within this method. And before I'd had to put like a private static method on the class, which would have been okay. But this is perfect. This is, you know, this is a, to me, a really, really good example of using a, um, a local function in C Sharp 7. So I, I think that was actually kind of an elegant 
solution to this. So that's all I'm going to spend time on for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Leave comments and questions below. See you in the next episode.